Hello YouTube. This is the Gentleman Scholar. Tried to start smoking from this cherry wood, but I couldn't get the airflow I wanted, so I switched to this thing, which is actually the first pipe I ever bought. It's the one I ruined with my gorilla hands once upon a time. And of course, now that I started my video, my pipe goes out. Of course, of course, why not? It's uh, kind of like one of those piddly little things about the day that's going. You have these, you have a million pissant little things to do, and none of them end up completely right. Of course, just to show you that life is not perfect. Hold on. Anyway, Gentleman Scholar here. I just want to say hello, Happy New Year, and just show you some of the stuff that I've been into lately. First up, this book by Alan Parks. Bloody January was uh, referred to me by a good friend of mine, also a fellow pipe smoker and a Scotsman. He said that this reminded him of the Glasgow of the 1970s that he grew up in. Now, Glasgow in the early 1970s was not a very fun place to live. Um, by all accounts, it was soot covered. There was sectarian gang violence going on in the streets, mostly um, a lot of it sports related. You had Catholic Celtics going up against uh, Protestant uh, Rangers. There's all kinds of stuff, stuff like that going on in the street. Lots of gangster, lots of gangster, gang, lots of yeah, lots of gangster crime going along. Um, everyone on the make, razor fights in the street. It was a pretty violent place to live. And in that backdrop, we have Harry McCoy, slightly bent cop of the Glasgow Police Department. Drinks on duty. He uh, drinks on duty. He uh, has a lady on the side. I don't think he's not married, I believe. He was married, but his child died, so of course the marriage couldn't survive that. Anyway. Sutliff, 50% creme brulee and 50% chocolate mousse. Anyway, it's, a, it's a great book. I ripped right through it. Um, he also has a, a... He's a slightly bent cop. He's trying to like... He's trying to like reconcile the, like the really morally compromised people he has to work with along with his law enforcement job. And it, I blew through it. It was a really excellent book. Alan Parks obviously knows what he's talking about, being a Scottish writer, and obviously I would say he's a inhabitant of Glasgow himself. So yeah, I blew through it. I really enjoyed it. And I wish my friend Dell Del had his own YouTube account because I would love him. First of all, pipe smokers from Scotland are hugely, unrep hugely underrepresented here at the, in the UYTPC. So just not happening today. God damn it. Um, don't know why either. Either pipe. I must have packed it wrong. Oh well, I'm going to hell. One last try. So yeah, very good book. I like blew through it very, very quickly. And uh, I've got the next two on the way. They take place pretty close to each other. February and March, that kind of thing coming up. All because one friend recommended it to me.
Next thing I'm into. Gave this another try. Terminator. The Sarah Connor Chronicles. That's the first box set for, for the first season. And here's the second season box set. Takes place... Josh Friedman uh, conceived it for television. Takes place around two years after Termin the events of Terminator 2. And of course, John and Sarah are still in the run, and they're not sure if their efforts to um, prevent Judgment Day has happened, you know, when the computers blow up the world and then start making Terminators to wipe out the rest of humanity. So... Excuse me. So Sarah has a boyfriend played by none other than Dean Winters. Who's respond? Who's base? Who plays Mayhem in the? Uh, pro was it Progressive? Is it progressive insurance or Allstate ads? You know the dude who? Uh, I'm your dog, or I'm your blind spot. You know the guy that causes all the trouble and everything. That he's played very well by um, Dean Winters, and of course, as the show continues on, it's about parenthood. It's about trust. It's about faith. There's a, a really, really decent. Uh, Christian character in this in this thing and it's nice to see I'm not a card carrying Christian myself hold that thought one day I'll be able to talk and smoke at the same time anyway there's a Christian character in there that um He's not like super holy roller with it, but he's very, very adamant about being a man of faith. And of course, now he has to figure out what's the deal with these machines. Do they have souls? Once he becomes convinced that Sarah is telling the truth, there's a whole Skynet's coming back from the future still to kill them and make sure that Skynet still gets built. Um, he gets sucked up into the whole thing. You could almost say like Mulder, almost like, like sort of like, Mulder being in a single case that swallows him up. But, um, so his, his through line comes into it. Sarah Connor's through as a parent, John Connor as a son. And of course they also have a, a Terminator protector again in the form of a Summer Glau who plays Cameron based, based after the writer creator of the original Terminator films, Ter James Cameron. And uh, in a way, she gets to be the data character in this, where she has to try and get human behavior and try to work around it. And she's only partially successful. But uh, it's just a great... The first season is 12 episodes. The second season is your standard 24. And they basically take the concept of the movie, the movies, and they make it work in a serial format fashion. And um, to be honest... We don't just, I just, the show has no reason to be this good, to be quite honest. If you want an actual de facto sequel to Terminators 1 and 2, this TV series will do it for you. And it, of course, ended on a cliffhanger after the end of the second season, and Fox never picked it back up again. And it was, um, no, oh, it's just really good ideas that they, really good ideas in there that could have been uh, explored. With all the changes happening in the past, the timeline is changing in the future, so you've got people coming back from the future coming from different timelines. So one one person from one timeline will mention something, while another person will go, I don't remember that happening, that kind of thing. But it's really, really great. Um, get it used, get it cheap, and watch it. It's really good. If you, ever, if you even remotely like the first Terminator movies, or the Terminator movies as a concept, I love them. I, I find something in each of them to enjoy, but the... the the best of the first two, both of them directed, written and directed by James Cameron and William Wisher. But all of the co all the concepts introduced in those movies, and even a couple from the third, are introduced in the series, and they're all they're all layered in pretty well. And I highly recommend it if you're looking for something to watch. But I recommend that you watch Terminators one and two to refresh your memory.
see what's going on. Anyway, that's all I have. I'm sorry that I was not able to successfully smoke that pipe. I blame the packing. Um, I hope you're well. Take care of yourself. Happy New Year, and we'll speak to you soon.